Earth is 4.2 billion years old. Earth's history is divided into several time periods that are classified by a change in Earth's environment, evolution of life form, major geological changes. This is called as geologic time period. Geological time periods are divisions of Earth's history used by geologists and paleontologists to categorize and study vast expenses of time since the Earth's formation. Formal geologic time begins at the start of Archean Eon, 4.0 billion years to 2.5 billion years ago, and continues to present day. Modern geologic time scale additionally often includes Hadean Eon which is an informal interval that extends from about 4.6 billion years ago to 4 billion years ago. Geological time is in effect that segment of Earth's history that is represented and recorded in planets rock strata. The geological time scale is like the calendar of events in the history of Earth. It divides all time into named subunits called eons, eras, periods, epochs and ages. Division of time scale or the numbering of these time scales is done based on stratigraphy, which is the study of relation and classification of rock stratus. The fossils that occur in the rocks acts as divider of geologic time scale. With the timing of emergence and disappearance of widespread species from the fossil records being used for denoting and the beginning and the end of different intervals. The international chrono stratigraphic chart maintained by International Commission on Stratigraphy or ICS is one of the widely used standard charts showing the relationship between various intervals of geologic time. Living things undergo regular evolutionary changes over geologic time which play a crucial role in development of geological time scale. Moreover, each part of geological time scale is characterized by a particular kind of organism. By correlating the strata in which certain types of fossils are found, the geologic history of Earth and of Earth as a whole can be reconstructed. The relative geologic time scale developed by fossil record has been numerically quantified by means of absolute dates obtained with radiometric dating methods. Geochronology is a field of scientific investigation that is concerned with determining the age, history of Earth's rocks and rock assemblages. Studying the distribution and succession of rock strata helps us understand past geologic incidents and character of fossil animals and plants. Classically, stratigraphy including fossil succession is used technique for geochronology. Since mid 20th century, Radiometric dating has been absolute age data to supplement the relative dates obtained from the fossil record. Radiometric dating is based on principle that radioactive isotopes in geological material decay at a constant known rate to daughter isotopes. This could help us understand the age of the strata. Geological dating is a process of determining the age of object. Radiometric dating is one of the majorly used dating technologies in the field of geology, which relies on the decay of our radioactive isotopes into stable isotopes. By measuring the ratio of parent isotopes to daughter isotopes in the sample, scientists can calculate its age. Some of the types of radiometric dating include uranium lead dating, which is used to date rocks containing uranium mineral. Potassium argon dating is used to volcanic rocks and minerals containing potassium. Carbon-14 dating is used to date fossils and archaeological artifacts. Rubidium and strontium dating is used to date rocks or minerals containing rubidium and strontium. In addition to radiometric dating, geochronologists use a variety of other methods to determine the age of materials. These methods include luminescence dating, dendrochronology or tree ring dating and electron spin resonance dating. Scientists majorly use either relative dating in which stratigraphic clues or presumed evolutionary forms are used to date items or absolute dating in which term items are assigned date independent of the context. The record of changes in polarity of Earth's magnetic field has provided a time scale for sea flow spreading and long time marine sedimentation. 
Dendrochronology or tree ring dating has proved useful in archaeological and climatology. Scientific knowledge of Earth's geologic history has advanced significantly since the development of radiometric dating. A method of age determination based on principle that radioactive isotopes in geologic materials decay at constant known rates to daughter atoms. Radiometric dating has provided not only a means of numerically quantifying geologic time, but also a tool for determining the age of various rocks that predates the appearance of life forms. Earth is 4.2 billion years old. Earth's history is divided into several time periods that are classified by a change in Earth's environment, evolution of life form, major geological changes. Earth's history is divided into different eons which encompasses billions of years and gives a broad framework for understanding overall history of Earth, eras which are subdivisions of eons and represent major intervals of geological time classified by significant changes in Earth's geology history, periods which are smaller intervals of geologic time marked by distinct geobiolo geobiological events, epochs are further divisions of periods. Ages and stages are smaller subdivisions of geologic time and represent shortest intervals of, with, of time within epochs. They are defined based on specific criteria such as appearance or disappearance of certain fossil species, changes in rock formation or other geological events. Each interval of geological history is marked by major or smaller changes in Earth's life forms or major events. Hadean Eon is the earliest eon extending from the formation of Earth around 4.6 billion years ago to 4 billion years. This eon is named after Hades, Greek god of underworld, due to extreme inhospitable conditions. It is characterized by the formation of Earth from neb solar nebula. During this time, Earth was bombarded by intense meteor impact, leading to formation of Earth's core, mantle and the crust. Earth's surface was molten, which led to differentiation of Earth's layers, with heavier metals sinking to form core and lighter metals rising to form crust. Surface of Earth had many active volcanoes outpouring lava onto the surface, which played a crucial role in shaping early crust and releasing gases that formed primordial atmosphere. Due to heavy bombardment of meteorites, which led to formation of the moon, this period is also called the heavy bombardment period. While the exact timing and mechanism of origin of life are still debated, some evidence suggests that life may have emerged on Earth during the later part of Hadean Yon. This early life would have been simple and microbial, existing in extreme environments such as hydrothermal vents or hot springs. Overall, the Hadean Yon represents a term tumultuous and formative period in Earth's history, laying the groundwork for the development of planet's crust, atmosphere and eventually the emergence of life. Despite the challenges of studying this ancient time period, ongoing research continues to provide valuable insights into early evolution of our planet. For more about early Earth's early Earth, visit our video link in the description. The Archean Eon is the second division of Earth's geologic history, following the Hadean Eon preceding the Proterozoic Eon. It spans a vast period of time from approximately 4 billion years to about 2.5 billion years ago. The Archean Eon is named after a Greek word Archaeos, which means ancient, and it is characterized by significant geological and biological developments that laid the groundwork for life as we know of it today. During the Archean Eon, Earth's crust began to stabilize and cool, allowing for the formation of first continent. These early land masses were smaller and less extensive than the modern continent, but played a crucial role in shaping Earth's geological landscape. The Archean Eon witnessed the gradual development of Earth's atmosphere, which was initially composed of gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, ammonia, and water vapor. Over time, Volcanic activity and the emergence of early life forms contributed to the changes in composition of atmosphere, leading to the accumulation of oxygen. 
while the exact timing and mechanism of the origin of life remains uncertain, some evidences suggest that life may have emerged during Archean Eon. Microbial fossils dating back to this period provides clues about the existence of early life forms such as bacteria and archaea, which likely thrived in extreme environments such as hydrothermal vents and hot springs. One of the distinctive features of Archean Eon is the widespread occurrence of banded iron formation or BIFs. These sedimentary rocks, which consist of alternating layers of iron-rich minerals and silica, formed through precipitation of iron in ancient oceans. BIFs provide valuable information about past environmental conditions and the evolution of Earth's ocean. The Archean Eon was punctuated by occasional meteorite impact, similar to heavy bombardment period of preceding Hadean Eon. These impact events contributed to the formation of large impact craters, influenced the geological ev evolution of early Earth. The Archean Eon represent a pivotal period in Earth's history, marked by emergence of continents, the development of atmospheric oceans, and the potential origin of life. Despite the challenge of ch studying this ancient time period, Ongoing research continues to uncover new insight into early evolution of our planet.